Families begin the process here at Foothill Elementary by checking in with Fresno County. Then they have to fill out waivers pretty much saying that they realize there is a possible hazard as they access their properties. And the last table involves them actually handing over a driver's license or some form of ID. In exchange, they get a form they can put on their windshield that says they are granted access to that property. Brothers Dana and Doug Warren came to Foothill Elementary Tuesday as the first group of people who lost their homes in the Creek Fire were allowed in for a short visit. They and others who got the same news wanted to see their properties for themselves on the chance something, anything was spared. The visit, heartbreaking. Emotions, understandably too much to talk with us. But around the corner, confusion turned into relief. And to know that our house is okay, it's, it's definitely a blessing. Jamie Francis and her husband had received a call Monday to come see what was left. That it was considered damaged beyond repair or destroyed. So we were convinced that our house was burnt. Instead, their cabin that once had a clear view of the minarets was standing. The fire line just yards from their home. Firefighters continued to patrol the area for hot spots Tuesday. They um, worked on the deck. They worked on this area. It was surrounded and you can tell that with their hard work and diligence that they saved my house. There's no telling how the mix up happened or just when it will be safe enough for those whose homes are still standing to be allowed back in for good. Wednesday, 77 families in the Alder Springs area who lost their homes will be allowed in for short visits. At last count, the number of homes and buildings destroyed is at more than 850. In Prather, Liz Gonzalez, Fox 26, your hometown news connection.